Nancy, I don't blame you for being upset with me, okay? I'm not, Luis. But I should have been in your room. I would have been there. None of this would have ever happened. Honestly, I do not remember leaving. And I have no idea why I would have. And I sure as hell have no idea how I woke up wearing those clothes and that ski mask. Look, I'll go find somebody to run this test. I'll come with you. I was raped tonight, Aunt Sheridan. Not that you'd give a damn, but it really happened. Well, we'll see after the examination, won't we? Which one of you is here for the exam? Uh, it's me. I promise it won't take very long. I'll bring your friend back to you in a few minutes. I'll be right here, okay? Love you. Bad enough I wasn't able to protect her the first time, but then to let it happen again. Stop blaming yourself, Luis. That's right, Luis. Look, you know, I could really use a cup of coffee, but I want to stay nearby in case Fancy needs me. I'll get it. Can I get you? Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The, the lab said they'd put a rush on the results, so I thought I'd wait for them. Well, both way. You two can leave, you know. Don't be silly. Fancy's only doing this because of my suggestion. I, I can't abandon her now. I'm really sorry about all this. No, don't be, Luis. I'll just feel better when we get the results so everyone knows I'm telling the truth. Yeah, I got that. You're too worried about Fancy. Exactly. And I was thinking of what we said earlier about Fancy's emotional state being too shaky and that she might need to be hospitalized. I, I hope not. But she is my niece, so whatever will help her through this. And it's really not surprising. I mean, she always has been so emotional and dramatic, and I think this rape has just put her over the edge. When I walked up earlier, I, I couldn't help but notice how close you and Luis were. I was just trying to help him deal with his guilt. He has nothing to blame himself for. No, no, of course not. Not the perfect, wonderful Luis. What's that supposed to mean? You can't keep your eyes off of him. Not even for a minute. Now, are you sure that you're okay with Fancy and Luis being a couple? How could you even ask me such a question? <laughs> I ask you because the look on your face every time you're watching him tells me that you would trade places with Fancy in a heartbeat. I mean, how do you really feel about Luis and, and, and Fancy being in love? I'm thrilled for them. Really, Chris, I can't believe that you would ask me such a question. I just want my niece to be all right. Well, you know what? With Luis in the corner, I think she's going to be just fine. Yes. You're probably right. Please don't keep me in suspense. I have to know what the lab results say. The lab work showed that you were indeed sexually assaulted. I told you. And there's more. We were able to get a semen sample. And with that, we may just be able to identify your attacker. Oh. Well, that's good news, isn't it, Elise? Then we can find him. We can find the person who did this to me. 